Hi, it's uh, Phil Bedford here, the Rebel Network, and today I'm in the home state in Virginia in the United States, and I'm at the Referral Institute Conference with my very good friend, Tiffany Kellogg. Tiffany's a trainer with the Referral Institute in Tampa, Florida, and Tiffany's been doing this training a long time. I'm not going to say a long time, because I'll get a sign, <laughs> but she's been doing it for a while and she really knows her stuff. Um, I hope you're not going to slap me, I was, I was only joking. No. <laughs> But um, one, of, one of the challenges I think we find is many of the people who go through our learning have outstanding success. They earn great money from the community. They earn great money from just learning the knowledge. And yet, they quite often still do not have their team trained. They're still having a lot of success in many ways, we could say, by chance. So Tiffany, what would be one of your tips on how our clients can actually get their network trained. What, what kind of things could they make it easier for them to bring them in and why should they do it? You know, it's interesting. Networking, we get this knowledge and we're excited, but if you're a team of one, there's not a lot of opportunity there. And I think teams are that metaphor when you think sports. Have you ever heard of Michael Jordan? I certainly have. You have? Okay, wonderful. I was hoping he had. Air. Air Jordan. Uh, one of the best basketball players, if not the best. But was he always the best? He has six championships ranks. So you would think if he's the best ever, then when he got into the NBA, he would have won the championship the very first year he was in the NBA. Mm -hmm. Did he win the first year? The second year? <laughs> the third year? The fourth year? The fifth year? I need to go to my other hand. It was many seasons in before he ever won. I did not know that. The best player ever, many years before it took him success because there was something missing, and that was his team. When he first got into the Chicago Bulls, they had a very uh, young team to build around Michael Jordan, but it wasn't until they got the people surrounding him, other people that became all-stars, that they began to be successful. And so there was a system, it's a triangle offense, it's their system. You've got your own system for how you train your team. And there's an opportunity to get the team around you. And so you don't have to carry it all by yourself. Michael Jordan no longer had to carry the team. He had the opportunity to, to win. And so to me, networking is a team sport because together everyone acquires money, but we do it as a group. And there's a really powerful thing here is Michael Jordan didn't train his team. He uh -huh. was a part of the team. The trainer was external to that. So you still need to bring your team to be trained by an expert. You can't necessarily train them yourself. Not if you want to be an outstanding success. An all-star. An all-star. And I love that. Tiffany, it's been a pleasure. Thank, Thank you very you much so for much. your time.